Oh, are you kidding me? So we are super excited. day in the neighborhood we are once again headed back to the office for more stop-motion animation training for Wyatt and um, for us to do some yeah s uh, work supporting the training <laughs> um, we are also just got our water bill Thai a bunch of Thai words ah, there you go there's our water bill so we now know where to pay it. We are going to 7-Eleven to pay our water bill. Fortunately, it's just across the street, so that's nice. So here we go. So that was pretty easy, pretty painless. They still a little slow on finding my right bills and coins to not just, yeah. But they are very gracious and helped me Today the weather is really nice and cool because it rained for the last two days. For the last, for the last two days it's been raining, huh? Mm -hmm. Two days of rain and a whole night of rain. Yes. So now it's it's cool. Um, our our Thai teacher this morning was wearing like a winter like a wool long sleeve dress and pantyhose. I was like, you are gonna get hot. But she said she thinks it's really cold right now, so. Just let me let you know, it's it's not cold. It's in the 70s and very humid, but, and it will get hotter throughout the day, but compared to what it's been, it's cool. But it just, just enjoying today as I see all the flowers and the, all the green and just thinking, I'm so grateful for where we live and just for, yeah, just the, I love, I love green. I love green. I love green nature. I love it. And we've been living in a place where you only get it for a couple months of the year. And it's it's white a lot of the year. <laughs> so this is, to me, just really just fills my heart to have so much green around me all the time. Look at all the green. It's amazing. I love it. How do you feel about the green, babe? Green is good. You like, like it? Yes. I'm outside and it feels really nice. There's a nice breeze. It's cool. I think maybe I'm, I've adjusted too <laughs> pretty quickly because, oh, yes, it's in the 70s and yes, it's really humid, but it feels awesome. I'm loving it. And so we're leaving the office. I stopped to try to order the food for the team, but I was just trying to say, like, whatever you want to make, go for it make it whatever I'm easy but she wasn't satisfied with that so it turned into like a five-minute conversation that she tried to get everyone in the restaurant involved none of whom spoke English and she it was just one of those times where you just really wish that you had the ability to communicate I told her in Thai I speak just a little bit of Thai and then she just proceeded to so I think she just heard the I speak Thai part without the little bit. <laughs> anyway, it was good times. And now we are stopping at Michok Plaza to try to find some more index cards. We also have to get some cardstock paper. That's the main thing. We need cardstock paper for to get visas because we need police clearances by the FBI that we didn't realize we dropped the ball on not realizing that we needed this before we left the states. So now we have to get fingerprints done, so we're gonna to have to print off the FBI fingerprint sheet online, but we have to use white cardstock, which we, it's not easy to find. Then we'll have to go to the Thai police station and get them to fingerprint us on the papers, and then we'll have to find a fast way to get it shipped to the US, to the FBI headquarters to show that we are not criminals. Are you a criminal? No. Okay. I'm on the run. No photo. No photo. <laughs> they won't just take our word for it though. And I don't blame them. It's a good choice. Good choice. So. More shopping. But not a lot. Just a few things. We've been here before. We stopped at this place when we were going to those sticky waterfalls with Ray. At the stationery shop. 
looking for cardstock, which is very hard to translate, but apparently now we found out that's actually what they call index cards, cardstock. So it took us forever to find index cards because we were calling them index cards. And actually, now we're looking for cardstock. What'd you find? Oh my, a dinosaur. He's a measuring guy. It's like for you to stick, it's, it's, for you, it's a growth chart. You can stick on to measure how tall you're getting. That's what it's for. We're gonna stop by the dang bakery. Good taste, best time at the dang bakery. Dang actually means red, so. So here are some of the treats at the dang bakery. Dang. <laughs> dang. Bang, bang, bang. What are you gonna have? What do you think looks good to you? Jelly mousse? Oh, so, as I said before, it's not technically rainy season yet, but I think rainy season's coming early. Um, some of this is dried up. It's not quite as deep as it was um, this morning when we got up, but it rained hard all night, and so our yard is flooded in the back and on the side, not in the front. So we have a lot of snails who even said there's too much water for us, so they're hanging out on our doors. Some of them are gone now. Oh no, here's some more over here. There's more over here. You might not be able to see them through the screen. There were some more though, but they've since departed. Very eventful, very exciting. The streets seem to be flooded in the heart of the city, so we're staying home today. So our friends slash neighbors slash uh, Thai teacher are coming over again to play games with us tonight and spend the evening with us, and so we are really excited about that. We are making a cake. Well, I made a cake earlier, which was quite an ordeal because this oven has no thermostat. You can just turn it to up to like eight. And there's a top burner and a bottom burner kind of thing. So that was a whole strategy in itself. But James assisted me with that. Now he's licking the beaters because he says he made the best frosting ever. Well, I guess I made it. He's finishing it for me. He's gonna frost the cake. And there's our cake. Because Pac loves chocolate. Then, what I was going to tell you that's so super fun and exciting is that they had invited us to their wedding, which we already felt super honored. It's like in another town and stuff. We already felt just super honored that they would even invite us. It's a kind of a big deal. Then, they asked us if James would be a groomsman and I'd be a bridesmaid. So, wow, are you kidding me? So we are super excited, not only because of the cultural experience and all that, but just because we love them and that's so fun and such an amazing honor to be asked to do that and to know they love us so much that they want us to be an important part of their day. So we're just feeling really grateful to God for good friends already. Yes. And for chocolate frosting. Mm -hmm. That's what James is grateful for. <laughs> hey everybody thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already bye bye